okay you're welcome to my youtube channel audacity audio pro where i talk about all things audio editing now if you are seeing this video it means that you want to know the best mic settings to give you a very good audio quality for your recording right here in audacity and that's exactly what i'm going to show you in this tutorial you do not have to feel under pressure to get an expensive microphone the mic you have right now is just fine and can give you great quality audio all right that said um you select your microphone from the ones that are available if you have an audio interface mine i'm using an audio interface get my microphone selected you go ahead you select your feedback either your headphones or your speaker or whatever applies to you you are going to focus on the volume of your microphone your microphone volume that's where the trick is now look this look at this slider right here it tells you what volume to use for your microphone okay now if you take the slide all the way down to the left the negative side what you're going to do is you're going to reduce there's going to be less background noise in your recording but the volume of your recording your vocal the volume will also be low so and that would not give you enough room to work with while you're doing your editing and then again if you slide all the way up to the top you are going to be packing a lot of background noise and um, that's going to also mess up your recording it's going to be too loud and your recording is going to sound really very messed up but then somewhere around the middle is usually the sweet spot so in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and record on the three levels so that you listen to the feedback you listen to the audio sound and you see um which of them is the best so let's start with the low volume so let's go somewhere low and go ahead to say something Okay, so we're testing the low volume to see how it works. So let's go ahead and listen to it. If you notice, I left some room before I started saying anything. It's intentional because we need that room to be able to tell Audacity that this is the background noise while we, when we're doing our noise reduction. Okay, so we're testing the low volume to see how it works. So if you notice, the background noise is really low and then also the volume again is low. So um, let's go ahead and um, record on the high using a high microphone volume. Now let's 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 record. Okay, so just looking at the recording, I can see that the background noise is really very high. Wow. Okay, so just looking at the recording, I can see that the background noise is really very high. Okay, you can hear a lot of background noise on this recording. You can you can hear that. Now that's way too high. That's way too high. Although we, this background noise can be fixed, but then it's not going to be as good as somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle is usually the sweet spot. Although for me, I use 0 0.7. 0 0.7 is the sweet spot for me. So let's go ahead and do a recording with mic level, microphone volume 0 0.7. So 0 0.7 is usually the sweet spot for me. That's what I use in my recording and um, go ahead and try it out. Okay, so now let's play back and listen to it. So 0 0.7 is usually the sweet spot for me. That's what I use in my recording and um, go ahead and try it out. Now, uh, that's what I use. So you see the background noise is there. You can hear it, but it's not something we cannot fix. So 0 0.7 is usually the sweet spot for me. That's what I use in my recording and um, go ahead and try it out. Awesome. Awesome. So that's it. That's, those are the different microphone volume, microphone levels. And then you just try it out and see what works for you. Don't go too low. Don't go too high. Somewhere in the middle works just fine. You can watch the video on my channel on how, how to remove background noise from your recording. So you give some room before you start recording if you're going to be recording in audacity so that you can use that room to tell audacity what the background noise is you get out the noise and then you can do the rest you can apply some equalization compression and other voice effects to give your voice this rich clean and crisp sound so that's it guys this is the mic settings that i use that work for me you can try it out or you can play around it to see which works best for you all right